Hey guys, Brita here. Welcome back to Satisfactory. Here we are for another episode back at our new Ultimate Factory. Just move my mic. Um, what we want to do today is make um, a room here that's making just reinforced plates, just here. Um, and then the next room will be our rotors, and then after that will be mod frames. So there should be three rooms on this side, which is the tier tier two stuff, I guess. Um, so I've sort of got it set up so. Our iron, which is coming in, it's not pretty slow now, really. It is. I need to get some um, steel stuff made to make some um, encased industrial beams to improve our speed everywhere and that sort of stuff. Get Mark IV belts. But anyway, I'm going to work on our, I said, reinforced plates in this room here. So we want a total of six smelters, six constructors, and then three assemblers. So our first smelter is going to go right here. I had that there just because I knew I had to count a certain amount in the smelter there. I think I'm going to go smelter right next to it as well. I'm going to go one gap. Smelter. Smelter. A gap. Smelter. Smelter. There we go. And then we want to have our constructors straight behind which I think they're a bit wider than our they are they're a bit wider than our smelters so probably gonna need to I want to centralize it um, I don't know how far in have I gone one two three four five which is right I think let's check our other room it's got one two three four five yep Still the same length, I might just need to extend ourselves out this way a little bit. Okay, so our constructors, as I said, I want them in, I want them to be in the center of this one as well. Like here, but I think we're going to have to go offset one. Because if we put them in the center, like this, we're not going to get them side by side. One overlaps the other, so we are just going to have to move them over a tiny little bit. So like that. Then we go to this one again. Line it up with the other guys and go one to the left. Get this guy here. One to the right. This guy here lined up. One to the left. One to the right. Beautiful. So now this I need to work out um, how it's all going to come in because I want this one coming into the center here somewhere so if we go splitters and then we put them right in the center which that should be yep that should be right in the center and then we go in between both of these guys in the center both of these guys in the center as well and then we're gonna have to bring in our um, belts from there so if we go from there to there this guy is going to come straight across I think like that and then we'll have to move this one back to there we might as well go straight down to there around the corner to there and then straight into there and then these guys can just go straight in straight in that'll work like magic all right now this one as well into there, but this guy is going to have to come out. I think we might just turn it. Yeah, turn it here. Come through. Uh, where are we? Oop, auto saves. To there, and then to there. Can we get you down? We can. Oop, we don't want to go up there. To there. To there. Down to you, and then you can go into there. You can go into there. It's going to get iron done and all of those. So might as well set these up. So we want um, plates or ingots, I should say, and we want plates and screws and all of these. So these are all the same. They're all just ingots. Did that one actually work? No, it didn't. There we go. Same as you there, and then this one will come along to the center there and then 
to here. And you can go to there. Oops, that's a fairly long way away from there, so I'm going to put in another pole. Just because I... Th I mean, it probably would have made it, but just to make it look like it's well supported. Right, so all that can go from there to there. Now we need to run some power. You can see how slow this iron ore is coming in. I will upgrade... Um, I will upgrade the belts. I think I do have enough for some Mark Three belts. So you there. So we need to bring power in. So we usually bring it straight through like into here somewhere. Like that. Is that yeah, that's not the main line, that's fine, and that doesn't clip. Good. So then I think one if you go from there to there and then to here did that work? Yep, I think it did. Um, and then you go from there to there, which really isn't gonna work. So we need to disconnect those. I can get better power poles which we will look at but at this point in time we can't get them yet so uh, let's go corner there corner there I try to make sure everything's uniform throughout the whole room uh, where are you there you can go to there you can go to there That'll have them starting to produce um, ingots. Right, there we go. So you guys can all join up. You can go to there. That'll work. From there to there, there to there, there. To there. So that should be three. What I'm going to do is I'm not going to connect these guys up yet, but we will um, do that after. So we need plates in one, Whoop. screws in the other, our alternate screw recipe, Whoop. plates, uh, screws, get out of there, plates, and screws. Then these guys will come out and go into an um, assembler in the center here somewhere. So this room's probably going to be more than big enough. Um, the next room's going to be, as I said, our rotors. So it's going to need uh, rods and screws. And then as far as this guy goes, like he can probably still. Our wall's going to be here. Wrong button to so walls. This is going to be like going to, I think, yeah, our next room. So that can still come across into here, and then we can branch it off from there. It's just this one might be a little bit difficult. We might need to probably can still bring it into this room and then go through to the next room. But we'll look at that later on anyway. Right, so let me take these out. Lag. I don't know if it's an auto save or just lag, but I get that a fair bit sometimes. So we do have fairly decent factory here and an even bigger factory back at our original starting base, which we started on our live stream. So I'm not surprised that the game does struggle at times. All right, so that's those guys set up. We need to go production and then assembler. So I think if we bring this guy. I don't want to put it there because it's too close. We need to come back to here and go in the center. Put you in the center there as well. And then you in the center there as well. And then these guys can just go straight in. I'm not going to get any do anything fancy with those belts because we don't really need a proper turn. They can just go straight in. Going straight in is fine. 
I mean, most of you guys have probably seen that I do get sometimes too fancy. What are we doing? Reinforced plates this room. I do get too fancy sometimes the belts, but I think they need it. The belts are cool, and it's good to see them nice and fancy. All right, so uh, where's our iron coming in? We should still have. That's Mark Three belt. These guys aren't. So let's just bump all these uh, belts up to Mark Three to try and get our ore in a little bit quicker because we're going to need it to come in as quick as we can. Make sure we're smelting at full efficiency, and then from there we should be able to try and get the rest either to 100% efficiency or close to. It's still waiting on. Oh, uh, yeah, it's still waiting on ore a little bit. Let me see if we can't try and boost our ore input. It should be straight down. To here. Obviously, it's doing 480 per minute. And those belts don't take 480, so it's probably a little bit too overclocked. They only take 270, so we could probably take both these overclocks, overclockers off, really, and just have it back at standard, which will just be 240. But I think if we put one more back on there and try and get it up to uh, 130, 120, maybe, 115. 113, there we go. That should smash it out and start bringing it in really quick. And it should help us to get it over into here a little bit quicker. Over here is still pretty slow. Like, we still need to optimize all this. Now that we've got our massive storage facility up top, we we'll sort of need to um, bring in some faster belts into here as well. And even like all the way down there, but we just don't have like the stuff we need. If we went back to our old base, we'll probably have plenty of stuff to be able to upgrade this, which I might even do um, between episodes, just to try and get us some more get us some more speed, some better belts. So these guys should start hopefully hammering things out. And then I want to get them into here, so we might need to go Convey belt mark two reinforced plate. All right, so let's get them in. So the belts won't quite be straight, but they'll be close enough to being straight. Oops! Don't do it while you're inside the belt. That would be handy. Um, we need iron ingots. So I should have some in my inventory. There we go. And that should be iron. Let's just get rid of that. Right, so that should start smashing that out. Start making screws and stuff. Let's speed. We certainly need to speed up the um, screws. Because the screws are what we need the most of, I think. We do have the alternate reinforced plate, which we can do wire and plates. This takes four plates and 24 screws. This takes four plate, or six plates and 30 wires, but this does three plates and this does one at a time. All right, so we need some power. So this is power pole's got to go through. Stick it right in front. Oop, more lags. And then after that, we want to join this up, ready to go up to a storage facility upstairs. There we go, so you go there to there, there, over to here. So these should be reasonably quick builds. I was thinking I would just do one build per episode um, and sort of see how that goes. So it's really these, these belts need to be quicker. We should be able to smash this out. I wish I'd go in stacks of, I don't know, 50 or something. 
instead of one at a time. So I think they produce, produce 12 in a row, so they should go out in a stack of 12, not in a, in one. That would be much better. So now we should hopefully stay ahead. Power consumption. So 1,050, we should be 1,200. I thought I did fix that. I might have to go down and check and make sure I did fix that. It was 1,200 before, but it's not now. Alright, so now we need to come out to our conveyor merger. We need to bring all this stuff in and merge it. I think... Yeah, we're going just in the center there. You can go into there, come out of here. And what I always do is always get that straight line, work out where the center is, go back one, two, and then curve. You get that perfect curve then. So the same again, in the center, one, two back, and then curve straight in. Then these guys will go over to here, which is going to be quite weird now because we have we have it off center. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, it's ten. So it's an even number, not an odd number, which is going to make it a little bit difficult. But um, which way do we go? We go to the right. So let's put the wall here. So we'll go. Uh, which way are we going? It doesn't matter, I think. The nice side to the inside. We'll go into here. And then we always go... One, two... One, two... And then we, we need to put our other walls up there. So four and five. We want it to be five high. That one's only four high. This one is five high again. We want just the one wall down the bottom. Oops, um, we want our wall conveyor three high. Um, I think, have I done that right? One, two, three. I think I've done that right. Might be a bit wider than our last lot, but. I think it is. I think it's definitely wider. Yeah, I think we only had um, that uh, gap and then the windows. So it's a little bit wider, but that doesn't matter. So I'll bring you out and go straight to there. We'll need to put in um, some extra floors out here for us to be able to walk on. And then I'm going to get an extra one just for me to be able to stand on to get this done properly. So you'll go from there to there. You will go from there. No, that's right. We need to move it in one. Too wide. Just too far away. Thought it might have made it, but it's quite a length. I think we can only get like six walls distance. So one, two, three. One, two, three. There we go. So you can go from there to there now. From there to there, there to there, there to there, which will be our top level for our storage. And you always go from there to there, so nice straight line so we can actually see what's on the belts. And now we can actually fill in this spot here with our walls. I think this might end up being a door eventually, so we can sort of run out this way. Oop, that wasn't where I wanted that. Fill all, oop, fill all this in to make it look nice and neat. And then I did build on this other side, one of these rooms, I did build a stairway for us to be able to get up to our storage room. So one, two, three, four, uh, let's go five. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Then I put in a. I think I did the wall to the left, but I think I might put in our stairs first. 
So this was just our, or well, the stairs that I put in, in one of our other rooms, just to get up to the storage area. Not going to go overkill on the storage during the recording, because you guys would have seen that in my previous video. Right, there we go, and if we go, walls, doorway, to the right. There we go. Oop, and then this will come up to our storage level. Then we can fill our walls. That was the wrong spot. They're in the right spot, but I will need to get this other one. There we go. Out of the way. So this is where our storage is all going to be. All the way up here. And then it will go all the way down to the start. I don't know if we're going to have... Um, this whole room full of storage um, like we have in the other rooms because it it's a little bit bigger down there than what our other rooms have been so far we've got our chainsaw on us we do can we get this tree from up here we can get him out of the way right so this is our storage rooms up here I've got a few finished I haven't finished all of them yet but they have a little bit in storage. We're going to need some more concrete. That's why I'm running down through here. And I've just got um, the storage sort of sticking out the back here. As you can see, so that's how we know what's in here. We know there's concrete in this storage container. It's in this room. I think I might just throw a few of those back in there. We're not going to need all of them, but... So we'll try and get this top level done and then I'll throw in um, a couple of storage containers. We're going to have to run through one of these rooms and grab some rods, which should be yep, here. There we go. So that's four high in each. They go along four long. So we've got four, eight, twelve, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four, plus this one, sixty-five storage containers per room so a huge amount of storage probably don't need that much but I mean I'm planning on hopefully keeping this factory going for a very long time I've done um, our let's play which I've done started it twice over again because I had different factory ideas um, and I live stream this a fair bit I don't want to be starting again but I want to have a massive amount of storage for when the game continues to get updated so we've got plenty of stuff available in case we need you know like 10,000 I don't know iron plates for some strange reason whatever reason that may be Can we, yeah there we go get rid of that one and that one and that one um, and for those of you who haven't seen the other storage room and how I set it up I'll kind of show you guys uh, where are we here so this is where I want it's gonna be different to the other one which is fine we'll go walls there and you're gonna be there one two three that's right that's gonna be our final storage container is gonna be here so what I did is I came in through here um, now I can't remember exactly how I did it but if I go backwards from this way make sure we're in the center and I missed one and then put one down missed one put one down are they in the center they should be yeah they are okay missed one put one down missed one put one down and that was what we had we had five so plenty of room here so I can put our splitter in here so this will come up into there into here and then also when I add some more storage containers like that this all the way through I'm not going to do the whole design again if you want to see how I design my storage rooms like you've seen just behind us there um, there is another video on my channel which 
goes through it in a little bit more detail. But I will sort of just show you how I set up one stack. But as far as the whole thing goes, you'll have to watch that other other video. So the same as what we did downstairs, get into the center, go back to, throw it in. Still get that nice clean curve, which I think, for me, it is pretty important. So when we do these, we always make sure the input's at the back. So back, 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 and back, four high. Put the conveyor poles, the stackable ones, make sure you get in the center, and come one out so you can see both legs of the pole. And we go up two, three, four, five high. And we come out of the bottom one to here, the first step. We go from there into the back. We go back to the front, this will come out and it'll go up one. Then into there. This one will come out and go up one, and then that'll go into there. And then eventually, this will be four high, it'll go across to this guy, then it'll circle down to the bottom, across, back to the top, circle back down to the bottom, and back to the front. And here is where I put in our conveyor merger. So it'll go from there to there if it was actually centered. Which one's not centered? Did I just put it in the wrong spot? There. From there to there, from there to there, and then this one will go across to the center, two back, as I said, into there, and I will take away that leg because it's not that far. And I think the belts look cleaner without these conveyor legs, but once all these go stacked to the top and end up at the front here, there'll be one stack that'll end up into here. I always bring out so we get a conveyor pole on the ground there. And then once this has got we've got any reinforced plate on us, we do. Throw one in there, it'll come out and you'll see the reinforced plate sitting at the end. Just like um so I haven't done this one yet the screws over here. So that is how I design not only my storage rooms but my stuff downstairs. I've decided that I will go um, and each and every room will have from start to finish. So our starting product being our this one starting product being our ores going through to the finished product so it's going to be smelted into ingots it's going to be made into items it's going to be made into reinforced plates so how are they going now they're waiting on iron plates you're still waiting on iron ore okay we really need to start smashing this iron in through here so i think it is going to be going that way as well you can see we've got that iron room, this iron room with rods, the next one with screws. So we've got three iron rooms plus this one, so four in total. So we need a lot of iron getting smashed into the base. So that's why I did bump that up to double overclock up to 480 because those Mark IV belts, which are here, do move up to 450 resources. So I need to really get some more encased industrial beams and just smash it out really to be honest so I might have to go and um, grab some coal from down there and just manually make some I think to sort of get it done but right there guys this is going to be our reinforced plate room everything is getting built everything is going through to here everything is going up to storage We've got a bit of lag um, and then eventually once everything sort of starts to pick up and I can get the iron ore in a little bit quicker it should become pretty pretty well efficient and hopefully not struggle too much so that's yeah that's chocolate block full of screws this is the iron plates that we're waiting on now so once this gets full and the iron sort of gets full into here it'll start going into here a little bit more and um, allowing this so eventually it should automate itself and get itself up to a higher efficiency but we'll have to We'll have to wait and see if it actually works or not.
Right there, guys, I'll um, end the episode here. Hopefully it hasn't been too long. I didn't set a time this time. I thought I'd just large... I uh, thought I'd just... Reading something else then. I thought I'd just record quickly how I build this room and then our next room will be our room for rotors and then after that will be our mod frames. Then after that I'll put, uh, move into the steel production as well. So if you guys enjoyed this one, as always, smash a like button. Let me know what you think about making each room going from ore to the finished product for each individual room. Let me know what you think of that. And um, if you're new to the channel, guys, and haven't subscribed yet, please do so. It's been Bruno. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.